President Biden is firing back at a Justice Department report that's raised questions about his mental acuity. The White House calling comments from the special counsel gratuitous and wrong, but it has given some ammunition to his opponents and caused concern for some Democratic voters. This comes as former President Trump says on the campaign trail he would encourage Russia to take action against our NATO allies that did not meet their spending targets. Amidst all of this, CBS 2's Bradley Blackburn has more on the Biden defensive. In Wilmington, Delaware, President Biden ran errands on Saturday, but the biggest task for his White House is quelling questions about his age and memory. They're wrong and they're inaccurate. Republican special counsel Robert Hur's report recommended no criminal prosecution for mishandling classified documents, but he referred to the president's memory at least nine times, calling him a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. The president's reaction at a press conference and then he turns around huh? hasn't stopped his likely opponent, former President Trump, from piling on. The special counsel's report tries to let Biden off by claiming that he is too mentally incompetent to convict at a child. On the campaign trail, Nikki Haley again went after the age of both Biden and Trump. America can do better than two 80-year-olds for president. Horribly disappointing that we can't get younger candidates. This weekend in South Carolina, some Democratic voters shared their concerns with CBS News. But the young people aren't going to come out and vote for him. We're yeah. going to lose the young vote. I would like to be able to vote for someone who is younger but does kind of have that level of credibility. Perception as a candidate is what concerns me. In an email to Biden campaign donors Saturday, First Lady Jill Biden said of her husband, he's 81, doing more in an hour than most people do in a day. Joe has wisdom, empathy, and vision. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.